Pore Prime with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And this was applied all over the eye area. And then for my transition color, I used the NYX Matte Bronzer. And this one is in Deep Tan. And I used my ELF Flawless Concealer Brush just to simply blend this all over the crease area to prep the eye for the rest of the eyeshadows. From my Lorac Duchess palette, it looks like this. I am going to take the really dark navy blue color. It's actually, it looks a lot darker in the pan than it does um, appear on the eye. And what we're going to do is just make a V on the outer portion of our eye. Now I would suggest padding so that you can permit, prevent as much fallout as possible. Using the same brush, you want to just begin to slightly blend this out and bring it under the eye as well. But just focus it on the outer portion of the eye, okay? And the brush I'm using is my Sedona Lace EB15. Using my Maybelline 24 Hour Tattoo in Audacious Asphalt, I'm going to take this and apply it to that open space that you see on the eyelid. Um, technically you could have done this first, but I forgot, but it doesn't really matter. So what you want to do is just simply place this on the open area, and this is just going to act as a colored base for the rest of the eyeshadows that are in the palette and then also make sure that you swipe this under the eye as well. Now I'm going to take the second darkest um, color in the palette and this is like a gray type of color and I'm going to pat this on this portion of the eye so it's not lap not overlapping right here but just simply being blended right next to it and um, it's kind of hard to see it, but it really does help with the flow of um, transition on the eye with the colors. Using the next color in the Duchess palette, I'm going to take that, sh it, it looks like a shimmery silver color. And um, I'm just going to place this on the eye right here, making sure to pat all of these colors on. Make sure that as you're applying these colors to the eye at the top that you're also making sure that they match the placement under the eye as well. We're going to highlight the inner tear duct with the lightest shade in the palette. And don't worry about if you get any um, fallout. Just make sure that you're doing a lot of patting and not necessarily rubbing of the eyeshadows um, because we can clean that up with a makeup wipe or our concealer later on. Now what you want to do is just take that brush that you apply all of the colors with, spray with some Fix Plus or whatever it is that you have, a water would be just fine. And you're going to tap your eyeshadow brush on top of all of those colors just to make them a little more vibrant. Take your fluffy blending brush and just blend out the edges of all of those eyeshadows. To build up the intensity of the eye, I'm going to use my fluffy blending brush. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually stop here, line your eye, put some mascara on and be done. Um, but I like to give the extra steps in my tutorials. That way, it depends on where you want to stop, but at least you know how to get <laughs> where you're going, okay? So, just to build that up, I'm going to take that fluffy blending brush with just a little bit of that darker color out of your powder out of your palette excuse me you want to start off always blending here in circular motions focus it in this one area and then when you think you have all of the color off the brush start to blend over okay and the only way to build up a smoky eye is by continuously blending these looks do take a lot more time but it's so worth the effect in the end Using my Milani Bella Black Eyeshadow and that EB15 Sedona Lace Brush, I'm just simply going to carve out my crease. And um, this is going to aid in giving the look some dimension 
but also help you be able to tell where your eyelid ends and the rest of your eye begins. Take your fluffy blending brush again and blend that out. Make sure your brush is staying in the same spot. Okay, so once you get done blending out all of your eyeshadows, make sure that you go over top of these colors right here with a wet brush just to make sure that they are still intense while you're blending this portion out, okay? Now it's time to just line your eyes and add some uh, falsies if you would like. I use my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Pencil and this was just placed in a waterline. I'm also going to tight line with it and then I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Gel Liner and I'm going to do a wing liner and then my lashes of choice are the Salon Perfect Demi Wispies. I'm also going to apply some mascara to my eyes prior to putting on my lashes. For my under eye concealer, I'm using my MAC Prolong Wear Concealer and um, the number that I'm using is NW35. So I'm just going to simply swipe this under the eye. The brush that I'm using is my Sigma Precision Taper P86 brush and I like to use this brush to also give me a nice flick of my... Um, eyeliner I forgot to tell you guys that I did prime my face I used the professional and this is by benefit that was applied all over my face prior to any face application okay now the foundation I'm going to use is my Kat Von D lock it tattoo I use shade m62 and um I'm going to use my Becca Tim perfecting brush or perfecting Tim brush and I'm going to pick up some of this product and just simply stipple it onto my face. To set my under eye concealer, I'm going to use my MAC Set Powder. And this is just a white translucent powder. And I'm using this brush from RC Cosmetics. It does not have a name or a number it's just a angled foundation brush and it is synthetic the first color i'm going to use to do my contour with is my mac mineralized skin finish natural this one is in give me sun and i'm going to use that becca brush as well and i'm going to use this to contour because um it's going to act actually as a contrast or a transition color for my uh contour I really like that effect the next color I'm gonna go in with is from MAC and it's a blush called blunt and I'm using my real technique setting brush and this is going to be added right on top of the other powder um, just to give that contour a little bit more depth for my blush, I'm going to use my Milani Romantic Rose Powder Blush, and I am using that Becca brush again. Lord, that was a tongue teaser. And, um, tongue twister, something like that. <laughs> and I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks. For my highlight, I'm going to use my Mary Lou Manimizer, and this is by The Bomb Cosmetics, and I absolutely love it. Looks like this, a very pretty opal type of color. Using that same Becca brush, I'm going to pick a little bit of it up on the shorter side, and I am going to apply this to my cheekbones. To the tip of my nose, bridge of my nose, I also applied it to my cupid's bow and chin area. On my lips, I have the NYX Butter Gloss. This is an eclair. And my earrings, before I forget, I believe I purchased these from Forever 21. My head wrap is just a regular scarf that you will wear like with your coat or something. I purchased these scarves from, uh, this one is from Five Below. Last year, I 
um, picked this up. They had them in a bunch of different colors. Hopefully, they'll have them again this year so that I can get some more. Um, and that's it. If you guys have any questions or comments, please be sure to post them below. And as always, and until next time, have a gorgeous day, doll smooches. Mwah. Bye.